Tucker, Riley, <laughs> Sam, Maddie. Today we're filming the part three of asking college boys slash asking college girls questions you're too afraid to ask. Do you guys like hand holding? If so, what's the best way? Yes, and let's demonstrate. Guys, Always. Guys, on. on top. Guys, thumb on top. On top. Guys, dominate. There's no pancakes. Is that normal? No. <laughs> the waffles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would disagree. Oh, which one's which? We're walking. I like his no. we're walking. No. No. Yeah. The pinkies. Yeah. Yeah. Like, wait, 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 who was it? My math teacher and his wife. Have you thought about your future family? Do you want one? And how many kids do you want? Of course, I've thought about my future family. No! Oh! I already have this plan there, okay? I have a son, okay? Then I have a daughter, then I have a son, okay? So that there's always somebody to watch over my daughter throughout school. Oh! That is genius! I mean, if you can control that. Dude, that's actually <laughs> mad <laughs> smart though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get like three girls now. Three I think guys. we should so all do that. You want three kids then? Honestly, it's however many my wife wants. Are there any of you that have a number that you're like, I no. want to marry someone who also wants this number of kids? At no, least I don't three. think it matters. Happy wife, happy life. I want five or more. Yeah. Really? I come from a big family. family. So you want to find yeah. someone who also yeah. wants yeah. five or more kids. More. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Dang it, I want a family. What sport is most attractive? I want to hear the girls answer this question. Yeah, I want to hear the girls answer the question. I want to hear the answer the question. What just happened? Football. <laughs> Can we get some director help right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, director. <laughs> I think most attractive sports are tennis, basketball, volleyball. <laughs> we what kind volleyball. of? This is my first experience being at a school where there are actually sports. I don't really have. She's like, whoa, athlete. Yeah, literally. <laughs> baseball, basketball, and volleyball. <laughs> baseball is not for me. We love you, baseball players. Sometimes, Sophie, did you answer? Mm -hmm. Basketball, baseball. And what about the guys? Like, girls soccer, baby. Volleyball. Volleyball guys and volleyball girls, it's just like a, like it's a must. I just think that it really doesn't matter, but if she's good at what she does, like it's good. Yeah, there we go. That's, That's a good answer. Answer. How do you want a guy to dress? Oh. Oh. Okay. It depends. Oh, when a guy is dressed up and like <laughs> a suit. Oh, yeah. A man in a slim tie, white shirt, yeah. black, nice shoes. So you're about to see me in psychology now. <laughs> With a suit and tie. <laughs> button ups. Yeah, button ups joggers. Like the khaki joggers. Oh, I got rid of mine. If it looks good on them, then I think you know. The funny thing about this question is like, as Maddie's answering it, I'm trying to figure out how to make the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want to do after college and why? Uh, dental school. Why do you want to be a dentist? To help children all across America. Yeah. <laughs> After college, I want to be married. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> well, look at that. Perfect. Nope. Yeah. Oh, oh. I want to go to med school, and right now I would like to be either a psychiatrist or a neurosurgeon. I would like to go professional in volleyball. That would be dope. Wouldn't it? I want to get rich. Oh. I want to get rich. My dream is to go into physical therapy and specialize in athletics. How do you overcome heartbreak? Time heals all wounds, you know? Yeah, that's, no, that's very it. true. I would agree with Maddie. Just let it have its moment. Crying. Yeah. Crying. Yeah. 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 Car drive. Yeah. Ice cream. Oh. <laughs> Screaming. Screaming. Wow. <laughs> or just break hearts. Don't be broken. <laughs> no. Confident. <laughs> when do you see yourself getting married? Like what age? 21. Twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Are you twenty-one? I am twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Probably my, like mid 20s. I gotta go on my mission first, then. So start 25. Talking. 23. Minimum is 21. Yeah. I feel like I'm yeah. behind that time out of college, but I don't know. I mean, that's what my sister said, and then she got engaged when she was like 18. <laughs> that's what my sister said, and then she had a baby at 19. <clears throat> Yeah, what are you telling you? Like, girls say stuff and then just. <laughs> the opposite way. I think I'm gonna get married first, but I don't think I'm gonna get married for a while. I think timing goes the same way for every single person, and that's when you meet the right <laughs> yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my target age is like 20. Alright, this is a question for the girls. <laughs> for the Kreman. For the Kreman. Okay. The Kreman. <laughs> Alright, girls. You say you want a boy with a testimony. Am I right? Do you guys do girls say that? Oh, yeah. yeah. What does that mean? What does that look like? Really? Yeah. So, <laughs> She's like, like, question. when I say a boy with a testimony, I mean one who has done the things that a boy with a testimony would do. So, going on a mission. That's and a requirement for you. They have to go on a mission. Pretty much. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. It's there and she knows what she wants. Yeah, yeah right. just like they do the things that they should. They go to church every Sunday. The basics? Or, like, I'd be willing to marry someone that hasn't gone on a mission, but if they're working on themselves and they, like, have a desire to get better, that's what I'm looking for. I agree with Ashley. They don't have to serve a mission if they have a strong relationship with God. Lining up that you guys have the same values, knowing that you want a family, knowing that you're committing your life and eternity to this person. And to the gospel. And to the gospel. You're going to help me raise in our family church. in the church. Yeah. Have the priesthood. Yeah. Yeah. Have the priesthood is so important. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of agree with what Riley said and like their words and their actions go together. And I also agree with what you guys are saying about like wanting to raise a family. I feel like that's a big thing. Knowing that we're going to raise a family in the church. Always go to church on Sundays and be a good example to them. Is there something specifically, one specific thing that like I'm not like, like when I die? Like, when I see someone pray before they eat, even like when they're with someone. Like I don't even do that that often. It looks like a small and insignificant thing, but when you see it, you know that they're doing the right thing. Yeah because they're doing something so yeah. smart. And when a guy goes out of his way to just be kind to everyone, it's just good to see that they're good guys in the world. Wow. That was deep. That oh. was insane. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I have to be the one to ask this question. Do you want me to ask it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, who is the most attractive person in the room? Let's go one by one. That was what we're saying. Yeah. Start. I start? I don't want to start. Ain't no pressure. Ain't no pressure. I don't want to start. Ain't no pressure. I don't want to start. I start with this. Wait, are we really going to say it? Yes. Say it, younger. I can't. I don't. I can't say it. Sophie. So I think not easy. <laughs> like being in a relationship and there are so many attractive great guys out there so it's just like my girlfriend could just see it right there and just be like you know what that guy's better than my boy you know that's just the fear of mine it's just, it's just something that worries me and then you know next thing you know she's like hey I found someone better and then yes. your heart's broken wait hold on imagine letting Sam Cam <laughs> like imagine <laughs> Comical. You either keep them or you're done. Like, I mean, those are your options. <laughs> I said just letting people down. Just the fear of that. So one time, my homie Mark taught me a really cool lesson. I remember we were both recently getting over girls. Because I remember saying that I wasn't really interested in any girls. And I didn't feel like starting anything up with any girls. But then he talked about 
how if I liked my past relationship with that girl, if I liked her as much as I did at the beginning that I did at the end, I was like, no, I didn't. It's like, so you had to build that up. And I realized that I was expecting the connection with a girl that was at the end of a relationship at the start, and that wasn't gonna happen, that I had to build that up again. So I had to realize that wasn't just gonna come right away. Great lesson by Mark. I'd drop his at. <laughs> he doesn't want me to. <laughs> I'd have to agree with like Max, like disappointment. It's like one thing I hate is seeing other people down or other people like sad, especially if that's like in a relationship with like my significant other. If I disappoint her, like that would just kill me. Ugh, can we get a hype question? Yeah. I think this is cool though because none of the videos, oh, none are, like of the videos are like this. Deep the videos down, down will be good. We're we're gonna be stop. Like, you taking notes? Yeah. We're good people. <laughs> Do you guys think about your wedding day or engagement? Yes. Oh. All, All the time. time. <laughs> just, exactly. Yeah, it says gay. It says time. gay, guys. It says gay. Oh, we were going there, Sam. No, I'm just. Let me take you through my. Uh, <laughs> let me take you. <laughs> Engagement <laughs> on the beach, roses on the sand, proposal. No way. Whoa. Boom on the beach. <laughs> Get real. Well, whoever is watching this, ten years in advance, if you go to the beach with Tucker. Just <laughs> Sunset. Ten years. No. Ten ten years. years. Sunset, if that. Ten years, yeah, right. No, 20 minutes. Okay. My dad had like a list of five things that had to be incorporated into his engagement. Wow. A beautiful scenery. Your, your dad is like, your dad is on a whole different side. Also, we need a picture of Riley's dad up on the screen. Well, if she a Star and Wars fan. In high school. Riley's dad in high school is. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I think about it, I get mad nervous because for my engagement and my wedding day, I don't really care how it goes for me. I just hope that it's That's like the so absolute true. Like I, I just hope it's like the most perfect day for my wedding. Wow! This man has true intention. Dude, he is on a whole different level. Everyone's like, oh my god! Dude, I literally just turned up. I appreciate that. It makes me so nervous because I'm like, what if I screw it up? You only get one shot. Yeah, exactly. What if, what if you like, I don't know, gotta make it perfect. trip down the aisle? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. nervous to have to talk to the dad. Oh, the dad actually, it, it, do you think it's yeah. important that we ask so, permission? I actually did a podcast episode with my dad all about this topic. Shout out to the podcast. He, from his perspective, I mean, it shows the respect a of formality. He described it as like, in the daughter's life, the dad holds like the baton as protector right. and provider. No. I until she's gonna get married, so it kind of gives an opportunity for the dad to like say yes, okay, I, I approve of you giving yeah. this baton to you yeah. and you being the new provider and protector for her. It is a formality, but it is something that I mean I would personally appreciate, and I think most fathers would. Yeah. It's something like that I want. Like I wouldn't want to not have that experience in yeah. marrying her and yeah. talk to her parents. I would want that to take place. Like I want to hear it from. But what if her parents don't like you? Personally, I wouldn't marry someone that might. Parents don't like. I need someone that gets along well with my family. That's huge. Like family is huge for me. I've always been close to my family. If my family really doesn't like that person, like there's something wrong. I think for a sign of respect, I think that's very important for them to like be comfortable enough to approach my parents and like have that conversation. Yeah. Another thing though, I would say in your like wording when you do talk to the dad, I think it is appropriate to to ask for the a blessing and not permission. Yeah, that was a good conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Sam. Hire me. Good night, Brian. I'll hire you for something. <laughs> not that. Mm, sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> for the girls, I have a question. For the girls. Thank you. What does it mean? For a boy to take care of you. Financial stability. This yes. question. Does it mean you're rich? And knowing that they have the financial stability for me and to raise a family, I will be, play a part in that as well. When we go through his needs, her needs. <laughs> Shout out to that book. <laughs> if he's meeting all of my needs. What is financial support, affection? So I don't really know mine yet. Yeah. Because I'm not in that stage. It's a good yeah. expectation. Like, I think for me, at least like a deal breaker would be like disrespect. Like if they like talk to me in like a certain tone, or if they don't like see my potential because I'm gonna see their potential and they like don't support me in it. It's unconditional love even when you're going through like oh, mm -hmm. and working out together. Yeah. And I think that goes back to like having an eternal companion, like someone that you know that will be with you no matter what. Having that reassurance that they love you unconditionally. 
knowing that they'll take care of me and that I'll try my best to support them through that as well. Yeah. What does that mean for guys? Yeah, yeah I, I was just gonna say like we have the basic things like financially and physically the two big things that like I feel like we all like have that expectation but when I think emotionally when we think of like taking care of a girl her problems or like the issues or the trials that she has in life are always taken seriously every single time. I think that's where we fail emotionally taking care of a girl is that we don't take her problems with 100%. That's another one, yeah. intimate yeah. conversation, family commitment. For girls, those are like some of the top needs. For a guy to be taking care of you, your husband, he'd be meeting those. But you would also be doing the same for your husband. So it's like everything that us guys do is for the girl. Being loving, make sure she's comfortable, make sure she's safe. Like literally everything is just for her. For each other. Yeah, for each I other, think like working like, together. I think understanding and respecting one another's value and importance. All right. I like it. Wow. Do we have anything that we really want to say? These are all my questions. If we ever got deep, I made the question. <laughs> okay. Height. 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 Taller, but <laughs> at the end of the day, I care more about who they are than their height. We want to hear some numbers. We want to hear some numbers. Do you have a height? Okay, numbers. Six foot or taller. <laughs> okay. Pretty much all of you are good in that. Oh! And you're so, so I'm 5'11, so I need someone that's at least like 6'1 or above. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Only 14.5% of this world of men are taller than six feet. So, <laughs> well. So my requirement they have to be six foot above. Let me look up the definition of picky. So like, I think my preference though <laughs> is like between six two, six five. <laughs> definition of picky. Oh, it's gonna be good. No, this is gonna be good. Okay, ready? Right? Yeah. So the definition of a picky person <laughs> is someone who only likes a small range of things. <laughs> and I think we can agree that 14.5%. We're sitting around a lot of picky girls here. Do you guys notice when a girl is on her period? Uh, oh. Mm. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Some girls are yeah. really dramatic. See, that's, that's what I was really saying. Like, do you notice? I mean, if they're walking, yeah, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Because you're always like looking out for them. So if you can tell something's wrong, I'm never gonna ask, oh, are you in period? Yeah, like, never ask that question. Just be like, hey, like, hey, what's up? Like, yeah, what's going on? And then, then if that, if they bring that up, then it's like, oh, it's like, 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 it's Someone didn't pay attention. Because that'd be kind of nice to get it over with, though. No, I know that money would suck. suck. It would suck, but then you'd have 11 months so you didn't have a period. <laughs> How do you girls feel about facial hair? Or boys, I guess we can answer this too. I don't like facial hair. Try your best, but you don't succeed. <laughs> I feel like it depends on the person. I, I do like. Yeah. I think if they have like the rough, yeah, the full beard. But like short, if it's long. I think it depends on the guy, but most guys do look good with the scruff. Physically, oh. what are things that a girl would look good with? Dad bod or rad bod? Our you know how you'll ask, like, oh, what's your favorite feature? Girls will be like, arms. Like, oh, yeah, that's so what I'm assuming. I'm just kidding. Thank you. Physical features. What do you want to hear? Care about myself. Like, like a butt question for guys. I know, don't you wish there was a question like that? Do you guys like guys It was like this or that? Yeah. Like, it's sad you guys don't have Do you guys? Do you guys like guys' butts? Is that a thing or no? A guy with a nice butt, yeah. Muscular. Yeah. That's, that's a big thing. Yeah. Nice. What about calves? Yeah, nice yeah. legs. Yeah. Honestly, oh. just muscles and yeah. guys. Yeah. A yeah. man who is. I definitely have a type. Um, <laughs> She's tweaking. <laughs> I would describe it as like a lean, muscular build. So, like the TikTok guys is what you're saying. No. There's like two skinny. But I am drawn to thinner guys. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, can, I have I have a like a body type in mind. Certain yeah, physique yeah, yeah, yeah. that I look for. Okay. So like Sam Cannon. Sam Cannon fits in that physique. Ah! Uh, Sam Cannon's a whole hunk. <laughs> He's a whole he's half. He's a punk and a half. He's a, but not now we're talking. <laughs> I bench right next to him. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's an experience. They're just battering you up and down. <laughs> One time Sam ran out of plates to use on the bench, and he asked me if I could sit on the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and then 
That's a true story. Anyway, I would have to say the same thing as Maddie. I think they all agreed. I don't like huge. Age. For me, I like I like muscular arms. But not like okay. Veiny arms. But like oh, but they can be too veiny. No, they're still. They're not. Hands like what? Wait, I don't fit this category, girls. See, yeah. Mm. I know, but it's like, here, come on. Oh. Come on. See that? Yeah. Squeeze. 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 Squeeze harder, dog. Squeeze harder, yeah. dog. Wow. Wow. Squeeze. Squeeze, Squeeze it harder, dude. <laughs> See, that is serious. I think that's a <laughs> fact. How about what's the first thing you notice? Teeth, height, and teeth. Height, and height. Size. 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 Size, height, hair, and eyes. And hygiene. <laughs> if they smell good, oh. if they don't smell good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much right. for making it to the end of part three of this video. We really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe down below. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. I love you. Bye. 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 Bye.